y'all welcome back to my youtube channel today i am doing something i have wanted to do for such a long time we are out here on the boat fishing in mobile alabama we've got some fish in the cooler we're still fishing so today we are going to do a catch and cook so we're out here catching some fish we're gonna fillet them and cook them for dinner how fun is that from ocean to plate that's what we're up to today so i hope that you guys enjoy this video a lot of y'all have asked for it so food doesn't get much fresher than this let's go fishing Ooh, got one on yeah all right i got me a nice little white trout he's gonna be good eating look at him we got us a white trout on the boat it is tradition that every time we catch a fish, the dogs are desperate to lick them. So, Bo, no. You can lick the fish. You wanna lick him, Cooper? There we go. All right, he's going in the cooler. Yeah, the Woo, there's another one. Yeah, one. Just a little one, he's going back. Oh my goodness, Ooh. that's a big one. Get it in the boat. Well. Oh, Cody said, it's a big one. It's like six inches long. Yeah. Gotta let him lick the fish every there time. Go. There you go, Cooper. There we go. Nice. Oh, Sweet good baby. job, Coop. And release. Too small for the cooler. Good job, babe. Thanks. Woo, there's another one. Hooked up. Woo. This is a big old heavy white trout. Yeah, we got another one to go in the cooler. Cody's hooked up with another one over here. Ooh. Woo! Oh, yeah. Oh, oh. Tearing them up, y'all. That's right. Look at our fish finder right now. Y'all see all those red lines? That is fish moving through here. Is that not insane? Good golly. Cody's hooked up with yet another one. We are just bringing them in back to back. However, that one is just a little bit too tiny to go in the cooler. Yep. There's one. Woohoo! Nice. Get it in the boat. Got some weight to it. This one's got some oh, weight yeah. to it. Yeah. yeah. Heck nice. yeah. Look at this one. I am getting all the fish today. No, I'm not. What just are kidding. we, two and two on big ones? It's a good sized white trout, y'all. It's a really good white trout. Look at this one, y'all. Another one for the cooler. Nice little white trout. There we go. Another one. Let's see. This one's a little bit too little to keep. We got some good size ones, so I'm gonna let him go back. Well, we got some fish in the cooler and we get to enjoy this absolutely beautiful sunset this evening. What a great afternoon it has been, that is for sure. All right guys, it's dark out so I have to use my flash, but we just got home. We got seven nice sized white trout that we're about to go inside and fillet these babies up because you've got to cook these quickly or else they just don't taste very good. I know it makes some of y'all queasy, so skip forward about 30 seconds if you don't want to see a fish filleted. But when we got home, we knew we needed to fillet up these white trout. For some reason, white trout meat just needs to be eaten fresh. You can't freeze it. It gets mushy, and you want to eat it within about 24 hours of you catching it. So we cut up the fillets and got them bagged up, and we're going to have them for dinner tomorrow. Hey guys, it is actually the next day. Yesterday, we caught the fish, we cleaned the fish, but by the time we got everything cleaned up, it was nearly eight o'clock, so it was just a little bit too late to cook the fish for dinner. So we set it in the fridge overnight, and we are cooking up our white trout for dinner tonight. We are at Cody's parents' house. We're gonna have a dinner for all of us since we caught so many fish. So I think we're gonna do fish and asparagus and maybe some other sides for the rest of the family. I am not sure yet, but we are about to head inside, give the fish a cleaning, make sure there's no bones left in it, and start getting it prepped to cook. 
Yesterday we went ahead and filleted the fish, but we did it kind of quickly. So before we get ready to cook them, what I did was I went through all of the fillets and cut off anything that needed to be cut off like bones or scales. And so I rinsed off all the fillets and now they are ready to be prepared to cook. I transferred the fillets into just a glass baking dish. I sprayed the bottom of the pan so that the skin won't stick. And I just mixed together some salt, pepper, the garlic and herb Old Bay seasoning, and some parsley flakes into maybe five tablespoons or so of melted butter. So now I have a basting brush and I'm just gonna baste this right on top of all the fillets. I got the fish covered in the butter and the seasonings and now it's ready to go in the oven. I'm gonna bake it at 350 degrees for about 20 to 25 minutes or until the fish is nice and flaky and it'll be done. So just a quick and easy prep tonight. So let's go pop it in the oven. In my opinion, roasted asparagus is by far one of the best sides to serve along with fresh fish. So my roasted asparagus recipe is super simple. All we're gonna do is add a little bit of olive oil over the top. You don't wanna put too much where it drowns it, but you wanna be able to coat all of the asparagus with oil. You can season your asparagus however you want. Today I'm using this Old Bay garlic and herb seasoning and some garlic powder. Lemon pepper is also really great on asparagus as well. Now that the asparagus is seasoned, I'm just gonna go in with my hands and rub the olive oil and seasoning so that it coats the asparagus entirely in the olive oil and seasoning. The asparagus is now ready to go in the oven. So to cook these, it's really simple. I place it in a 425 degree oven for about 15 to 20 minutes until it is roasted to your liking. I sometimes leave it in a little bit longer because I like my asparagus to the point where they're almost charred. I think it's really delicious. But just roast it until it's done, about 15 to 20 minutes, and you will have a fabulous side to go with your fish. Just pulled the fish and the asparagus out of the oven after about 23 minutes or so. And they are both cooked to perfection, y'all. Ooh, this is going to be fabulous. Just served myself two fillets of fish, some of my roasted asparagus. And this looks amazing, y'all. Fish really just doesn't get much fresher than this. We're gonna go dig in and enjoy our dinner. Well guys, we are back at home with our bellies quite full. The way I cooked that fish, it turned out absolutely fabulous. All four of us were raving about it and it was such a simple thing. Just some butter and seasonings, basted over the top, it turned out so, so good. The asparagus was cooked perfectly and it made the perfect side dish to go along with the fish. So I hope that you guys enjoyed my first catch, clean, and cook video. I hope that I can do many more of these in the future because there is just nothing better than getting your food and being able to eat it just a couple of hours later. So I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a big thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel down below if you haven't done so. And I will see y'all again real soon with another video. Bye guys! Mm -hmm.